this video on offshore trusts, Ryan explains how to structure a trust that works. My name is Ryan Fowler. A little bit about myself. I'm in asset protection, estate planning, and global investing consultant. I have a nationwide clientele. The net worth ranges from about $200,000 to over $100 million. I'm the author or co-author of two books on asset protection. The latest is Asset Protection in Financially Unsafe Times, co-authored with Dr. Arnold Goldstein. It's the best rated and one of the best selling books of its type on Amazon.com. Uh, don't retain too much control. Don't be a co-trustee. Don't be a protector. A protector, by the way, is someone who tells, um, uh, make sure that the trustee does their job and they can veto trustee actions or replace a trustee if they need to. You should not retain that power like Arlene Grant did. Um, you need to keep, uh, ideally, you need to keep everything offshore. There are some exceptions to that rule. I'll discuss that shortly, but if you just want the absolute best, strongest, bulletproof protection possible, keep your assets outside of the U.S. judges reach, keep them offshore. However, like I said, there's going to be some exceptions to that rule. Uh, if you don't have any creditor threats right now, then uh, it's an acceptable compromise to keep your assets um, in the U.S. as long as they're held by an offshore trust. I strongly recommend, however, uh, for example, set up a foreign uh, trading account that then buys U.S. stocks and bonds if possible. Um, you know, again, we're trying to keep it more offshore and at least have, you know, the broker-dealer offshore if possible. If not, then put in everything, put your assets, uh, your investments or your, your investment real estate into an LLC or limited partnership. Um, LLCs and limited partnerships are respected by U.S. law where normally if someone sues you, they cannot get assets inside those entities. Now those entities are still inside of a judge's um, grasp, and that judge may decide to disregard the asset protection normally afforded by LLCs or limited partnerships, and that's why you have these entities owned by an offshore trust, and in a worst case scenario, the offshore trust will dissolve the LLCs and limited partnerships and take those assets into um, its possession. If they're liquid assets, it would physically move it offshore. If it's a rental property, it might be something uh, where in an emergency situation, when you're under attack, the rent checks go to an offshore bank account, for example, or, or, or something of that nature. Um, also, don't forget estate planning. Uh, you may either want estate planning language in your offshore trust or have the offshore trust point to another estate planning document, document a marital trust, living trust, whatnot, um, that will take care of that for you. And so that concludes this video. I hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you in the next video. So if you've liked this video, I've got a copy of my book, Asset Protection in Financially Unsafe Times, as an ebook, a 20-minute no-cost consultation, and a series of asset protection secrets ready to be sent right to your email inbox. All this is free. Just visit www.assetprotectionoffer.com. Thanks.